Hi guys, my name is Eric and because I love Blender, you can call me Blenderic. Alright, so let's start with uh, modeling our martini glass. Open a new Blender scene and uh, save the file as uh, martini. I will call it martini tutorial because I have this file in my computer already. And uh, let's start with selecting a default cube and shift right click selecting the lamp and press X to delete. Go to the top view by pressing 7 on your number pad. Shift A, add mesh plane. Press R to rotate, X 90, enter. Press 1 to go to the front view and 5 to go to orthographic view. Tap, go to edit mode, select the vertex, select mode, select 1, 2, 3 vertices and press X to delete them. Select the one which we have left, shift S, selection to cursor. Zoom out. Now we are still in edit mode, so we can press E to extrude X and extrude it about one and one quarter blender units. Zoom in, extrude Z, extrude X, bring it here. Now you can zoom in and by holding down control and uh, left click extrude a few more times. One, two, three and four zoom out extrude Z something like that zoom in and holding on control and left click extrude one two and three hold down control and click somewhere here zoom in control and click control and click and zoom in control one two three now select the first vertex press shift D Z move it up we are doing this to make sure that this center vertex is going to be located exactly on uh, along the Z axis. All right. So with this one selected, shift, select this one, F and A to create the edge between two of them. Press 7 to go to the top view. A to select all, spin change the steps to 90 enter and degrees to 360 enter all right I'll check it out from front view one yeah it's quite good so press A to select all remove doubles A out of edit mode and press smooth button we got some artifacts there, so we need to go to edit mode, A to select all, control N, recalculate normals outside, A, tap, and Z, right. Now go back to edit mode, Z to wireframe, select by holding down old, and right click somewhere here, select this edge loop, or well, actually no, A to deselect, press control R, and add another edge loop right here right click to confirm one to the front view and move it slightly upwards uh, when the object is going to be smoothed this will provide kind of rounded rim for us and we need to do the same thing down in the bottom area A to deselect control R add edge loop right click to confirm and press S to scale it a little bit 
A, Z, and tap. All right, select, press the object buttons and change the name to glass, enter. Cool. Right, with the glass still selected, press tap to go to edit mode. Select the face select mode, zoom in, old, and select these uh, face loop, this face loop, internal face loop. Go to the front view, press Z, press Shift D, Z, oh, what I did. Shift D and Z, and hold down the control, move it up. Press P to separate selection. Go to the front view. Press origin, origin to through to geometry, and do the same thing with the glass. Origin to geometry. All right. Select the top. This is gonna work as a drink. <laughs> All right. So press tab to go to edit mode. Vertex selection mode. A to D select, control R, add edge loop, with just about like this. A to D select box selection by pressing B, select the top vertices, press X, delete vertices. Uh, Alt and uh, right click, E to, ext I mean, e to extrude, escape, scale, scale it down, press W, merge, merge at center. A and tap Z. Go to the front view Z wireframe and move it back by holding down control. They should jump into the exact position where we need it. And now press S to scale it down to about zero zero point nine nine seven. Enter. A to D select. Okay, well, I'll select it again and change the rename it to Jin. Enter. <coughs> Z. 7 to go to the top view. I left click somewhere here and press Shift A. Add tube. Scale it down. Go to the front view. Scale it down a bit more. Press SZ to scale it along the Z axis. Zoom in, scale it down. SZ. Well, that should be just about right. Maybe a little bit more. SZ. Tap to edit mode. A to D select. Zoom in. So I like this vertex here, zoom out, rotate your view, shift, select this one, press 1 to go to the front view, and SZ, scale, along the Z, A to D select, tap, maybe we'll scale it down, scale the whole thing a bit down, grab, Bring it here. A to deselect. Now press SA, add icosphere, change subdivisions to 4. Z to go to solid view. Scale it down. Now we are creating this is this thing is a toothpick and this is the olive. Alright. S Z scale along the Z axis three to go to the side view and S Y along the Y axis. Looks like egg, whatever. Maybe scale it down a little bit. Press set smooth and uh, add modifier subdivision surface. Yeah, that's just about right. G to grab. Our 
rotate it a little bit looks more natural all right with the olive selected hold down the shift and select the toothpick press ctrl p make parent and now we're gonna try to position the thing inside of the glass press r to rotate and be asked to scale it down a bit more now select the olive and press S to scale it up. Select the toothpick, grab, R to rotate, and I will scale it up a bit more. G. That seems to be good. Oopsie. I need to select the olive and scale it down that because it's showing through up to the top view 7 so make sure that it's inside of your glass okay all right that's it what we need to do now is select the glass, press Shift S, cursor to select it, go to the top view, Shift A, add tube, scale, Shift Z. We are making a table. Right, go to the front view, scale Z, and move the table down. Select the glass, press Shift A, add empty. Rename the empty to camera focus. Enter. And now select the camera, constraint, object constraint, add constraint, track two. The target's gonna be camera focus. Change two to minus Z and up. Y. Now, when you press Control Alt and Q, it's gonna bring you quad view, and with the camera selected, you can move it around, and you will see that the camera is always pointing to our empty. Seven. Uh, Control Alt and Q to go back to single window. Uh, seven and click somewhere here control a I mean shift a add lamp point somewhere here shift a add lamp point and here shift a add lamp hemi select all of them go to the front view and move them up Select the hemi light, rotate, and go to side view and rotate it as well. Go to the front view, select the, the left point light, and uh, change fell off from inverse square to inverse linear change the distance to 30 point enter and select the right shadow the right one change ju just the shadow option uh, we have not renamed the table so object it's not a tube anymore it's gonna be table Now go to world buttons, tick the blend sky and change the horizon color to some kind of blue 